Don't you just hate when life gets tough? When you're working hard going down a particular path or trying to accomplish a certain thing, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you encounter some resistance. Something that just makes your journey harder than what it really has to be. And you begin to feel frustrated, disheartened, and discouraged. And maybe even you've asked God, why is it that he allows things to be so difficult for you? Why can't the road just be easy? What's up with all the resistance? The other day when I was driving, I pulled up to a major intersection and I noticed something out of the ordinary. There were two young ladies riding their bikes in the far left lane. Now, because my husband is a cyclist, I'm reminded constantly that cyclists have the same rights to use the lanes as vehicles do. So I wasn't disturbed by the fact that they were in the lane and using the lane. I was disturbed, or should I say concerned, about the manner in which they were riding their bikes in such a dangerous location. They were pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and pedaling, but it seemed as though they were moving in slow motion. And from what I could tell, these two young ladies were riding their bikes in the wrong gears. They were pedaling hard, but there wasn't enough resistance to cause their wheels to move forward at a much faster rate despite all their efforts. And I thought to myself, why don't they just switch gears? Now what's interesting is that God looks at us the same way I was looking at those two girls. He watches us as we ride along life's road and he notices that when we are in a gear or a season of life that offers less resistance, we often aren't able to move to the place in our spiritual journey that he wants us to be quick enough to keep us out of dangerous territory. And the only way for us to truly move faster is if the gears or the seasons of our life are changed to offer more resistance. You see, spiritual muscles really aren't strengthened until you have to go through, or better yet, push through something. And just like riding a bike, the only way you will be able to climb life's mountains or press forward with power and speed is if you are in a gear that offers more resistance. Now, it's going to require more effort on your part, and truthfully, it will likely hurt a bit. But in the end, it will get you to the place God wants you to be much quicker. Now, when it came to those two girls, I couldn't change their gears for them, though I wish I could have. And I wasn't in the position to ensure that they made it to their destination safely. But that's not the case with God, which is yet another reason he is oh so awesome. You see, he sees us pedaling and he knows the gears that we should be in. But unlike me, he has the ability to not only change the gears for us, but he also has the ability to make sure that we make it to our destination safely. So the next time you're traveling down life's journey and you experience some resistance, don't mumble, complain, or be disheartened. Instead, just raise your hand and say, thank you, Jesus, for adjusting my gears. So what are your thoughts about all this resistance stuff? Share it with me and others by leaving a comment below. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember that you can be extraordinary through him. Now, if you need help trusting God more than ever, this is a book that you must get, Trusting When It Doesn't Make Sense. Visit my website, www.simonawatts.com, and place your order today.